on, don't start something you can't finish. Okay, we're a little outnumbered here. Hi, I'm Kelly Kramer. You brought your friends. It's good, he's got a pipe. We're doing real good. You've been doing a lot better than your friend here, Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know you? Yeah. Does this refresh your memory? The guy with the glass jaw. <laughs> Was this comedy night? See how funny you are after I take a couple pieces out of you. Maybe I'll start with your hair. <laughs> What's this? A statement. No, it's a confession. Let's call it an acknowledgement that you ordered the break-in of the hospital DNA lab and the subsequent falsifications of Jessica and Rex's DNA tests. Sign it, Clint. Spare your daughter the pain of having to watch you to try to weasel your way out of what you did to her. Plus, an admission of guilt allows the judge, and of course, me, a little leeway when it comes to sentencing. Oh, let's just stick with what happens if I don't sign it. Sure, okay. If you don't sign it, I bury you at trial with eyewitness testimony. What you wanted, Rama, your husband, to leave you alone and penniless? I told you it would be a disaster if I confessed. You're not going to prison no, the man. No That's reserved for Clint Buchanan. How can you be so sure? All we need is an ally, and I'll get that thrown out. I think I just found one. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh huh. Okay. Well, here we go, Mrs. Buchanan. Such a gentleman. No. That was so sweet of Renee to open up her jewelry shop for us. Yeah, well, I always was her favorite Buchanan. So she was married to your grandfather? Yeah, more than once. Wow. Actually, she's the only grandmother that I've ever known. Gotta say, honey, <laughs> your family is very interesting. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. Because after today, Mrs. Buchanan, mi familia es su familia. Mm. Mm. Keep speaking that Spanish. It's sexy. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't believe it. How could he do this? Well, this was supposed to be your special night with Ford. Yeah, that's what I thought too until I saw him leaving with another girl. You were right, Blair. You were so right. Robert Ford is scum. No hey, calls. It's Langston. We we have. It's an important night for us. Well, right. don't worry. She will keep it warm for you, although I don't know why. We're on the clock. What do you mean, we? Do you want to play Proud Pop at a little baby rider? The Buchanan's won't let you hear him, but I will. All right, what do we have to do? Follow my lead. Where are you going to look? I don't know, but it might be a while. Uh, Jessica's probably trying to get as far away from me as she can. Brody, don't. Okay, I don't care what Jessica thinks of us. She has to come home. She would never abandon Ryder or Bree. Just wish I could say the same thing about John. This is the last place he wants to be right now. Now you owe me six bucks for that beer. Then why don't you come over here and collect it? You know, maybe he just got tired and really needed to show his true nature. Told you. And I tell you what, 
It's the last time that that boy's gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make it my personal challenge no. to keep him Blair, from don't. hurting you. Stop, please. What are you going soft? I mean, you said he just left with a slut. Yeah, but why now? I mean, we've been looking forward to this night for months. I just, I just don't understand. It doesn't make sense. I know, sweetheart. I know it doesn't. And I know that it, that it hurts, but you need to know the truth. Men are dogs. Your cover is blown, Clint. Your former employee just sang his heart out in front of dozens of witnesses. You're referring to Vinod Patel? Yes, we actually have hospital security footage of Mr. Patel breaking into the DNA lab. So what? It only proves that he was there. It doesn't prove that I had anything to do with it. He used a doctored key card. And I am one subpoena away from showing that that card was made courtesy of you and Buchanan Enterprises. No judge will grant you access to private corporate files. No, and Mr. Patel won't be of any use to you in the courtroom, none at all. And why is that, Clint? Did you threaten to do the same thing to him that you did to Eddie Ford? I can almost guarantee a not guilty verdict. You're welcome. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Mr. Delgado, what a pleasure. I don't believe we've met. No, but I know you by reputation. I've seen you on the news. Oh, I see. Are you in legal trouble? No, not me, but my husband is. And your husband did? Uh... He may be in handcuffs, but that brave man is innocent. Did I say something? No, no, I just, I want well, to make love to you. Not what a girl wants to hear on her wedding night. Joe, you're freaking me out. What's going on? No, I just, well, I don't want an audience. Who's watching? Oh. Well, no one now. God, I can't believe Kelly would do this. You know, to work with my father, I had a camera in your room. Who does that? You're worth fighting for. But the fight's over. And maybe now that Kelly's lost, she will learn to pick her battles a little more wisely. You send for your woman to do your fighting for you? Way to man up, bro. Oh, look, you're any better? You showed up here with your entire posse to take one man down? What happened to an, a, a good old-fashioned bar fight, you know? Mano y mano. This isn't a bar fight, baby cakes. This is a good old-fashioned beatdown. <laughs> Get her out of here. Hey, listen to me. Your beats with me. No one touches the girl. Ow, ow, ow. I know things seem bad right now. But John loves you. You just gotta give him a little time. He'll remember that. Don't, Brody. I know what you're trying to do. And I've gotta stop lying to myself. That's what got me here in the first place. Because if I don't stop... I'm never going to have a chance with John. Well, I'd lay odds on you any day of the week. Thanks. I don't like... I don't like leaving you here alone. I'm out. I'm not alone. I have Liam. Mom and I will stay here and watch over Ryder. Just go find Jess. I won't be long. Bring her home. is to build a wall so high that you can't even see love when it shines through. That's a shame. Are, are we still talking about being a Ford? I want to see my son. For the last time, he is not your son. But I just need to talk to Jessica. Maybe she'll listen to me. I could have brought a lawyer. Is that what you want? Good luck finding somebody to take your case. You got a pretty nasty reference. I've got rights too, whether you like it or not. 
My brother and the district attorney are on a fishing expedition instead of doing their jobs. Their answer to the latest unsolved murder is to try to pin it on me. Is this allegation as unfounded as your other charges? Did you miss the part about the hospital lab security footage? If you have something on my client, charge him. If not, we're out of here. So you see, my husband is not the culprit. He was only doing what his employer compelled him to do. Do you think I have a case? I think the prosecution will eat you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Word around here is that the police can place you in the DNA lab. That combined with your very public statement at the St. James Church, I'd say you've incriminated yourself, Mr. Patel. And Klimp Buchanan will use every penny at his disposal to make sure that sticks. In other words, I'm, I'm done for. With another lawyer, definitely. Good thing you hired me. Well, uh, so you'll take the case? If you can pay my retainer. Would there be an installment plan by any chance? I'm sorry. But if anything changes, you let me know, okay? And in the meantime, don't say anything on the record. It's over. Not yet. Can't pay her, Rama. Maybe not, but I know somebody who can. Insurance, because I hear Obamacare doesn't cover plastic surgery. <laughs> 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 <laughs>